My name is Steve, and I'm here to welcome you to Scorekeeper, the APA League scoring app. By the end of this video, you will be able to use this app to score your own matches during league night. Before we get going with teaching how to use the app, number one will be to actually download the app from the app store that you use. Once you've downloaded the app, let's go ahead and open it and we'll get started. Now that you've downloaded the app, you'll need to log in. Your login credentials will be the same credentials you use to log into member services. Now, if you don't have a member services account, you are going to need one. Use the link below to go ahead and claim yours. Once you've logged in, you'll see a list of your upcoming matches. Select the match you want to score. Once you've selected the match, you'll see both teams' rosters. When you're ready to begin the match, simply click the Score This Match button. On the next screen, verify the team's names are correct and the match is scoreless, then hit Start Match. At this point, the coin toss option will appear. Utilize this feature if you don't have an actual coin to determine which team will be the first to declare a player. If you choose not to utilize the coin toss function, no big deal. Simply select which team will be putting up first by using the buttons below the coin toss icon. If you do decide to utilize the coin toss, select which team will put up first based on the result of that coin toss. Whether you use the coin toss or not, once you're finished, please confirm your selection by clicking the blue button with the team name. The roster of the team that puts up first will appear first. Select a player from this roster and then verify that player is correct by clicking the blue button where that name appears. Once you've selected a player for the first team and locked in that selection, the roster of the other team will then appear and you'll repeat this process for the other player. Once both players have been selected, they will lag, select the player that wins the lag, and then confirm that selection by clicking the blue button with the player's name. The last thing we need to do before we start scoring the match is put in our table size. Just click this button, then choose the appropriate size for the table you are playing on, then confirm that selection by hitting the blue button. You're now ready to begin scoring the match. At the top of the screen, you'll see a blue bar with the player's names. When player one's turn is over, simply click player name turn over. When player two's turn is over, click player name turn over. <laughs> this is how you will track innings within the app. You'll see the inning tracker at the top middle section of the screen. You'll also see two gray buttons under the player's name to track defensive shots and timeouts. Now this is important. When someone shoots a defensive shot or a timeout is taken, simply click the appropriate button and you'll see that information tracked above. If you mistakenly select a defensive shot or timeout, you can remove it by clicking the minus sign to the left and you should see the overall tally change above in the match summary. Very important. Once the rack is completed, click the game over button. The app will ask how the game ended. You'll make the appropriate selection and then confirm that selection by selecting the winner's name below in the blue box. You'll continue with this process until the individual match is completed. You'll then begin the next match by selecting match two in yellow or whatever the appropriate match might be depending on how far in the night you are. You'll choose a player from each team's roster, just like before, with the team that put up first in match one, now putting up a player second. You guys know this, this is no different from regular league play. You'll follow the same process for scoring the next matches. The scoring screen can be minimized and placed in what we call the drawer. This is at the bottom of the screen. To do this, simply swipe down from top to bottom and this will result in the scoreboard being displayed. On the scoreboard, if a match is not underway or complete, you have two options. The first option is Team Match Forfeit. If you press this, all player matches are forfeit and the match is ready for submission. Obviously, you would use this when a forfeit is necessary. The second option available is when the match being scored is in the drawer. The scorer can start a new match by clicking on the yellow match box. Now the reason why you would use this is for split table scenarios.
Once all the matches have been scored for the night, you'll see the overall match score at the top. When you scroll down, you'll see the button to submit scores. But before submitting the score, please be sure to review the matches to ensure that they were scored correctly. If you need to make a change to a particular match, you simply click to open that match. From there, you can make changes to the games within the match. Once you have verified all the information is in fact correct, go ahead and submit those scores. After you submit the scores, the app will ask you to rate your opponent's level of sportsmanship, with five stars being the highest rating and one star being the lowest. If you'd like, you can also leave a comment about your opponent's sportsmanship. After you've rated your opponent's sportsmanship, simply click Submit Scores. Clicking Submit on the submission screen will navigate the score back to the matches screen. If all player matches were completed and submitted, the team match will be removed from the matches screen. If the submission was partial, the team match will continue to display and the remaining unfinished matches will be available for scoring. It is important to note that a submitted match cannot be edited. And that's it. You know how to use Scorekeeper. Now, if you do have questions, feel free to comment below or reach out to us in any of our social media channels, including poolplayers.com. We are happy to help you.